Hey y'all, I'm Nancy. I'm Jared. My name is Andrea Mares, and today I'm gonna to be talking about a game that changed my life. The word gamer, first of all, a fun play on words, which I always love. The fact that there's a term for gay gamer makes it feel like there is enough of us out there to warrant a term. That really made me feel like part of a community. I've always like really fell in love with games. Like I was also really big on Pokemon. It was a place for me to disappear into when like the rest of the world wasn't really seeing me or accepting me. Especially in my last year of transition, I feel like games like Overwatch and stuff have really helped me exercise that like femininity that I have. The first game that I've ever played that made me kind of feel represented in terms of my sexuality would be Dragon Age 2. The main playable character you can actually choose to either be female or male. I started playing that at like kind of a, a pivotal moment in my life. I actually came into my sexuality a lot later in life. It wasn't until like I was 21. The cool thing that I always really appreciated about Dragon Age 2 is that all the romance options were bisexual options where like you could romance them of any gender. And it was just kind of nice having these two like female characters being flirty with each other. I really feel like the first time I felt truly represented in a game was uh, Mass Effect. In that game, you can essentially choose your character's gender. And in that game, you can romance multiple characters and they all have the option to be romantically interested in you regardless of your gender. The option that you can fall in love with like any gender, any species basically, was really exciting and innovative and like blurred a lot of the lines that both society and other gaming culture had defined, you know? It's just like a very natural romantic story arc that plays out similarly regardless of the gender of the characters, which made that feel really real because I don't live my life thinking like, oh, I'm having a gay date today. You know, I just kind of live my life loving who I love and you could say something wrong and make someone kind of upset with you and then go back and fix it and it still works out. It's like very realistic to how relationships in life work and I think that was a big deal and that made it feel really real and really special. I saw myself in the storyline, which is really beautiful. It helped me work out things in my sexuality too and like help be like, yeah, it's, you know, it's normal for two women to be together because that's not an image or a message you really get growing up. Part of the reason why it took me so long to realize that I was gay was because I didn't have a social script for that. My mantra is that representation is essential. Like, I didn't decide to transition until I met other trans Chicanas who was like, hold up, I really identify with you. And that was in real life, you know? But if I had seen those images in movies and TV shows and gaming, imagine what my life would be like and how much less stress I would have gone through. I don't want it to feel like the gaming industry needs to like check the box of like, yes, there's a gay character to this game. Like, if it doesn't make sense to the story of the game, like, I don't need you to force feed me gay characters. I think that the gaming industry is doing a pretty good job of incorporating us at a speed that allows the public to be comfortable with it too, which I'm cool with. You know, for me, I'm just like more diversity, more representation, all of it, none of it's bad. I've been playing so many video games where like, I'm playing from what is very obviously a perspective of a white dude. It's about time just to play it from a different perspective. It's like really refreshing. This is the time, you know, gaming is really opening up to a diverse group of everyone. Every new game that comes out seems to be just a little bit more inclusive. Really, we are just part part of the conversation now and so we don't need to be afraid of really showing who we are and being expressive about it.